let's get to the algae. Now, um, algae can be unicellular. That means they can be made of one cell. They can be colonial, which means they can stick together into these long, <clears throat> into these long groups. They can be filamentous, like filaments or they can be multicellular. And of course the multicellular ones are going to be our seaweeds. All of our algae are autotrophic. So this means that they have chloroplast, they're capable of making their own food through photosynthesis, and they have the pigment chlorophyll. The reason that they're not in the plant kingdom is because they don't have tissue. When we get to the plant kingdom, if we get to the plant kingdom, all of plant cells <clears throat> are going to form a tissue. Well, these have individual cells, but they don't actually have tissues. Another very important reason they can't be in the plant kingdom is because they have no true roots, stems, or leaves. You are going to see that <clears throat> on your test. <clears throat> Excuse me. So not having true roots, stems, or leaves completely throws them out of the plant kingdom. Now, there are some basic body forms of algae, and the first is going to be the unicellular algae. If it is unicellular, it's one cell. Most of these are free living, which means they're not parasitic. Collectively, we know our unicellular algae as phytoplankton. Phytoplankton is the base form of our marine and freshwater food chain. Now that's really important and I tried to underline some of the more important sentences that you're going to see again, <clears throat> so take note of that. But phyto means plant and plankton means plankton and plankton, I've told you before, is a group of organisms that are made up of algae, phytoplankton, it's made up of little animals, which is called zooplankton, and it's got other things in there like krill and, and different organisms, and it's a, it's a collective source, and it's usually uh, the main food source for like whales and some of the other aquatic animals. However, it's also the base of our food chain in the water. So that means that it is producing a lot of the oxygen that gets put back into the atmosphere. On land, our base of the food chain is our plants because the plants are making the oxygen and putting it into the atmosphere. Although 60% of our oxygen in our atmosphere is actually coming from our phytoplankton. So it's very, very important that we do not pollute our waters because if we do, not only are these animals not going to have anything to eat, but our <clears throat> phytoplankton will die and that means that that oxygen that gets put back into our atmosphere isn't going to be there and we're going to, to have a, a struggle with breathing. So phytoplankton is the base of our aquatic food chain. 